Now the fact that I'm a bird watcher is rather appropriate when it comes to studying Velociraptor because, and this might come as a bit of a surprise, Velociraptor had feathers. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you, for the first time on British television, the fierce yet feathered, in beautiful plumage, Velociraptor. In fact, Velociraptor was only two and a half feet tall. And it looked very much like a bird. Which perhaps isn't that surprising because scientists now agree that birds were descended from dinosaurs. It all becomes pretty obvious when you look closely at the fossil bones. And as a matter of fact, a complete Velociraptor skeleton has never, ever been found. And there's only been one that was nearly complete. Nevertheless, we have assembled our jigsaw and here it is. Not a single piece missing, the complete Velociraptor. So, what can uh, these bones tell us? Look at these long front limbs, much like wings, and it's got hollow bones only found on dinosaurs and birds. And look, a wishbone. Again, only on dinosaurs and birds. And look at those feet. What about those feet? They're much more like talons, aren't they? Yeah, like you'd see on a bird of prey, which is, of course, also known as a raptor. As a bird watcher, I can see quite a few similarities to birds. But dinosaur experts can spot even more. Time to visit a scientist. Phil Manning is in charge of dinosaur fossils at the Museum of Manchester. Phil and I have uh, something in common. Birds. Which is why he's invited me over to his house to eat one. Mmm, my favourite, roast turkey. A leg? You can have a leg. Look at the arm. Now notice I didn't say wing, mm. because long ago in this guy's evolutionary history, this was in fact its arm. Yes. And you can still see the hand here. What we call the wing on a bird today, this is the hand. Yeah. You can still see a finger there. Absolutely. His, his end of his finger just fell off, so the, the, there is a claw. The claw goes on the end. Yeah, that goes on there. Yeah. It actually has still a joint. Yeah. But I've got something else that I think will absolutely convince you that this is a dinosaur. Right. Let me go and get it for you. You'll like this. I don't, you don't have to eat this bit. It's a bit that isn't on here then. What is it, the head? Forgive me for not cooking these, but... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best bit. Well, maybe. Take your foot. <laughs> Just look at that. It's a dinosaur's foot. If you look at the structure of the bones, the number of bones, their arrangement, what they look like, they are bang on for many types of predatory dinosaur. Yeah. Another thing that jumps out at you linking birds and predatory dinosaurs is when you just look at the form of the scales on the feet, because they gently change into these downy feathers before they become the true feathers that we all know and love in birds. Yes. Because feathers are just highly evolved scales. So, Phil has confirmed what I actually suspected, that we can learn a lot about dinosaurs by looking at birds. But feathery dinosaurs, I mean, it still doesn't seem right, does it? I mean, where's the evidence? It came from China. In 1986, fossil hunters discovered an extraordinary fossil of a small predatory dinosaur. Every detail of its body had been left behind as indentations in the rock. When they looked closely, they could see a dark line running from head to tail along its back and the incredible truth dawned on them. This dinosaur was covered in 
feathers. In fact, they're only little feathers, rather like these. Downy, I suppose, would be the right word. No good for flying these, but uh, very good for keeping warm. But even better, only four years ago, and from China again, the discovery of Dave, the fuzzy raptor. And he had feathers which were much more impressive, more like this one. And he was covered in these much more sophisticated feathers from head to toe. So, it seems the raptor family did have feathers, and that of course includes our star, Velociraptor. From just a few fossils, scientists can be pretty certain what Velociraptor looked like. Right then, let's put the flesh on the bones. Okay, first, the muscles. Next, the skin. And now, the, ah, what? Is it gonna be scales? No, the feathers. And there we are, a dead ringer for an ancient turkey. Except uh, I wouldn't fancy trying to stuff it. I think it'd probably stuff me more like. It's not a turkey, is it? Come on, this wouldn't go pecking around at seeds. I mean, look at those teeth. This was obviously a meat eater. And how did it get its meat? Phil Manning showed me that Velociraptor had all the hallmarks of a vicious killer. The skull is, is, is exquisite, extremely bird-like, but one of the most striking features has to be these backwardly recurved serrated teeth that were wonderful for slashing into their prey. These would have been like razor blades as the animal buried its face into its prey, using its body weight hanging back on these hook-like teeth ripping through flesh. This would have been a devastating weapon. 